They're finally making their way out into the wild. The new tracks is TRX-4M, and I've got one, no, two of them to check out, the Defender and the Bronco. And I've been so excited about this release, I already ripped the Bronco out of the box and took it to the trails. I can't wait to show you the action a little later in the video. The Traxxas TRX-4M is a 118 scale four-wheel drive electric off-road scale and trail crawler, and it's perfect for anyone. Here's what you get inside the box. Manual, basic tools, preload clips. Here's the included battery pack, 750 milliamp 2S LiPo with a new style connector on it. Here's the included USB charger. It has LED lights to let you know the charging status. TQ radio system, 2.4 gigahertz and basic trims. And of course the assembled crawler. In this video, I'm also gonna tear down this Defender so you can see what's inside and determine if it's worth your $150. This rig and the Bronco are available in a bunch of different colors. They're available at local hobby shops or I'll have an affiliate link in the description below. First, we need to take a look at these bodies. They're actually hard bodies, a thin plastic, so they're nice and lightweight. They're multiple piece, clear windows. I love the roof racks on both of them. We've got separate mirrors, door handles, grills, the headlight and taillights are clear because you could add LED lights later. There are our LED lights in the bumper, decaled out of the box, like the fake spare tire out back on the Bronco. And check this out, we've got a jerry can and a jack, as well as a fake spare tire on the back of the Defender. And as you can see, no body clips. There's just a front and rear clip. You push up on them and the body will pop off, making it nice and easy to access anything inside. Let's take a closer look at the chassis now. Look how compact this thing is, how slimline, and the frame rails are actually stamped metal and it is really rigid. I like the look of the shock purchase, a one piece that goes down to a cross brace and over to the other tower. Nice flat skid plate in the center. It looks like the transmission drops down nice and low in there. Here's the battery tray with a rubber battery strap to secure the battery in place. Nice and easy to access. And then the rear shock perches where the speed controller actually mounts to as well. The bumpers do feel a little loose here though. The suspension feels light from the factory. The shocks are oil filled. They are the GTM shock. They have a dual O-ring in there and a light spring. Four link front and rear. These are composite links and composite ball studs. However, these shocks have metal ball studs in them. So I like that. And then let's talk about the wheels and tires. The Defender comes with the Canyon tires and these split spoke wheels, which look really good. They aren't glued from the factory. I thought that was pretty interesting and no foam inserts as well, but that compound feels really good. Just like the compound on the Bronco, which has different tires on it. These are BF Goodrich mud terrain on the Bronco style wheel. Again, these aren't glued either. Onto the drive line. And we'll start off with the axles. They are not poor portal axles like the TRX-4. These are a straight axle setup. However, they have a much similar look to it. I like the front cover. This is replaceable. And then the axle is actually multiple piece. So if you go and break a C-hub, you will be able to replace it. The steering knuckles look nice and stout. Inside the axles, there are composite gears and all oil light bushings, which is pretty interesting. I actually really like that they're oil light bushings in a car like this. They're not nylon, so they're not gonna wear out. An oil light bushing is self-lubricating and they last a pretty long time and very little maintenance on them. It has metal CV shafts out to the front wheels. But moving on to the center drive shafts, they are slider style drive shafts. They do have the O-ring that holds in the pin. A little concerned about that in case you get hung up on something. And then let's move on to the center transmission. A pretty compact setup. I pulled this apart for you guys. There are oil light bushings inside this as well in all composite gears. And I did notice in the accessories on the website that they have alternate gear setups. Finally, let's check out the electronics. We'll start up front with the heavy duty micro servo. As you can see, it's mounted to the axle. Pretty interesting mount too. I like how the link is raised up so it gives you some more clearance. Pretty cool. And then look at the wiring on this. Absolutely perfect. Right from the factory, everything runs so it's out of the way all nice and tucked away and then mounted to the transmission is an 87 turn 180 size motor long can for torque then we go back here to the Traxxas ECM 2.5 this is a two-in-one receiver speed controller combo and this actually has three modes to it so there's a standard mode a trail mode and then a crawler mode right now from the factory it comes in the trail mode which gives a good drag brake the battery actually plugs directly into the ECM and that is your on off switch and then there's an extra port for the the, I'm assuming the pro scale lights that will be available separately. Now it's time for that Bronco action. I've been dying to show you, but first hit that subscribe button. First up, the TRX-4M is just so smooth and quiet.
Oh, I love the way this Bronco looks. This is tight here. Oh, look at that, right around perfect. Nice and smooth. He has plenty of top end speed. Wow, for $150, this little rig blew away my expectations. The TRX 4M is a really capable rig and it looks really good on the rocks too. Love this Bronco body. The weight is pretty low on there. And even though it's a hard plastic body, it side hills pretty good then. It does roll over. I did roll it over and scratch up the body a little bit, but it takes a lot of abuse. I didn't run the Defender yet because I'm actually saving it for a project. If you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Now the steering on this was pretty awesome. Awesome. I forgot to mention before, it's got 45 degrees of steering and that heavy duty micro servo actually has some pretty decent muscle to it. And I was able to get this thing turned up when it was bound up in some rocks and it definitely has a lot of the steering on flat ground. The power is pretty good too. Lots of torque from that 180 size motor. The throttle is pretty smooth for a ready to run speed controller, a little abrupt on the startup and you will have to throttle up a little bit if you do get the wheels bound up. And the drag brake is really good in trail mode. Again, it's got three different modes and definitely has a lot of power to bump up and over rocks. The suspension works awesome as well. I mean, just kind of floats over the rocks. The one area where it hangs up though is it is a full body truck and so if you do get the fenders caught up on some rocks, it will upset your crawl a little bit. I don't really have any complaints about the rig. I guess if I had a nitpick about something, I would have liked to have seen metal gears inside the axles and the battery plug is a little on the new side. So you're kind of limited there. But then again, if you're swapping out battery packs, most likely you're gonna swap out the other electronics too if you're building this thing up. But this thing performs so well. I mean, it's really probably the best 150 bucks you'll ever spend in RC.